Welcome to Quilter's Cupboard Tips and Tricks. We're gonna bring you some tips and some tricks to better your quilting and sometimes bag making. Um, today we have a review on the Grip and Stitch quilting discs for free motion quilting. Um, I had a student bring these into my beginner free motion quilting class a couple weeks ago, and as soon as I spied them, I said, I need to steal those from you towards the end of class so that I can try them out for myself. Um, if you've done any free motion quilting in the past or currently, you'll know that fighting with that quilt sandwich can sometimes not only be hard on your neck, shoulders, arms, but also your hands as well. Um, if you don't wear gloves, you sometimes find that you struggle to keep a good grip on the quilt sandwich so that you have control over your quilting. Um, I've always been a glove wearer. Uh, my favorite gloves are the Grabaroos, but I find that as much as they help, they hinder you as well. So you're always taking them on and off and you've got threads stuck to them and you're like flinging your hand around trying to get rid of the threads when you're um, re-threading your needle, anything like that. So as soon as I got my hands on these, I was in love. They allow you to grip the quilt with hardly any pressure on the quilt at all. Your hands stay fairly relaxed. I mean, it all depends on what you're doing. You can see here that I have been playing for a couple hours with them, just trying to see you know, how they work for me and, and how well they do. I'm as I said, absolutely in love. They have two sides to them. This one's, the black side is really grippy. When you rub it on your hands, it feels, um, I'm not gonna say super grippy, but when you put it on the quilt, you can see even with just a couple of fingers, hardly any pressure on it at all. And it's moving the quilt around. So we're gonna go over to the machine and I'm gonna do a little demo and you can see how well they work for yourself. So here we are at the machine and I have my machine all set up for free motion quilting and I'm just going to drop my thread. We'll find somewhere to start. Always pull your bobbin thread up before you start quilting and make sure that your needle is in the down position so that when you stop, you don't end up with a big long stitch. Um, so I am just going to put the grip and stitch discs on the surface of my quilt. You'll notice they are two different sizes and the large one personal preference, of course, goes in your left hand and the smaller one goes under the throat of the machine in your right hand, just because you don't want to reduce any available space that you have in here. So we will start quilting and you can see how they work. I just rest my hands on them um, nice and relaxed. You don't have to really grip into the quilt. Uh, it's really, really like having handles on your quilt. I can't really explain it any better than that. So you can see I have quite a bit of control over doing the detailed work and I can certainly do larger motifs as well. We'll put some feathers in there.
here and do some echoes. Now I'm just making a mess of things. We can come out and pretend like we're doing a sashing. Put some curly cues in there. another design in. Some ribbon candy. Through all that quilting, I was barely even gripping the quilt. I literally was almost sliding my hands off of those discs and they are just gripping right on. I actually gave one of these to my daughter earlier and told her to put it on the fabric and move it and her jaw dropped and she said, but they don't even feel sticky. How are they doing that? So that's really how impressive they are. Um, I can say for sure that I will never wear gloves again unless I don't happen to have these with me. Um, we'll have these up on the website uh, probably by the time the video is up. I'll get those on. Just look for the grip and stitch quilting discs and um, if you don't happen to see them that means we sold out and you can shoot us an email or give us a call to put your name in the order book and uh, we can order more in okay so I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it was informative and I hope you give them a try to um, get some more practice with your free motion quilting we'll see you later